Hi there, I'm Cheryl, and today I have this card for you, and this is a uh, five and a half by four and a quarter inch card, and it's wishing you a lovely day. Isn't that nice? Um, I may end up when I before I give it, I may end up stamping with a happy birthday or um, maybe handwrite in a little something something. But is take a look at this paper. I don't know if you can see the the printing on there, but it's um well it's script. It's not printing. Uh, and it's the words to "You are my sunshine." So if you if you're not old enough to know that song, Google it, and it, it's just a, it's a cute song. So I'm using that as a background, and these are uh, digital papers here and here, and this background here too uh, that I got from a website. It's GrannyEnchanted.com. They have a lot of, I'm assuming it's a she, she has a lot of um, free digital papers out there and I'll put a link on my blog uh, where to find them. So let's move on. Okay, so there's my You Are My Sunshine paper printed out and that's five and a half by four and a quarter. My card base and very vanilla and this was also printed on very vanilla cardstock. And then I have an insert on the inside that I'm going to put into place just to to make it a give it a little dimension in here. And that's where our sentiment will go. And that is let's see, that's three and three quarters. No, it's four and three quarters by three and a half. I have some white scrap paper here. It's just a cut off and my regular Whisper White cardstock. We'll be cutting our flowers out from that. And that's that die came from the Forever Lovely bundle. It's got a lot of nice dies here that you can cut things out or um, this one here in bosses. It'll make it cuts and embosses really nice. And that came from this set. And I think those flowers matched the ones so nice that was on the um, Bird Ballad card um, designer series paper. And we're going to be cutting our bird out. This one's a little different bird. See? But these were all these are all found on the um, one of the sheets of the cardstock. It's got these little yellow ones with bird footprints on the back to help you find it a little easier. And I'll just cut that out with one of my circle dies. And those are from Layering Circle Framelits. And they are, let's see, one, two, three. This is the fourth from the largest die. And then from our other pattern paper that we're making, and I stamped that on pool party cardstock, or I printed that out on pool party cardstock. It's what's nice about the dimensional papers. Um, I mean, other than the fact that you don't have to store them and you only need to print out what you need. Um, that's another thing I like about them is I can print that. See, I printed this on the um, pool party cardstock, but I could have just as well printed Could have printed it on Very Vanilla. I could have printed it on Whisper White. And each one would give me a little bit different look. But, and I'm going to be cutting a circle from that. And this is the third from the largest. So it's just a step up from the, from the uh, one we're going to cut the birds with. And then I also have this taped in place where I want it. I've already cut one piece out. These will, we need two of these um, for the front of our card. And that came from, that came from the Spellbinders um, 5x7 Elegant Labels 4. 
from that die set. And I've got it lined up. You can see on this die, there's these little dots right here. That's what I use to line up with the edge of my cardstock to cut these two pieces out. So that's all taped in place, ready to go through the big shot. Um, if you're using a different die than this, say you have one that you like, you think you would look nice on this card, um, just pick yourself a, a spot on on the on the die and line that. Use that to line up with um, with the edge of your cardstock so that you get two even pieces. Okay, I've got my flower shaping mat here. I'll be using the Art Glitter Dries Clear, their designer Dries Clear Adhesive, and also my Tombow. Those are my two favorite adhesives to use. I use my two stamp and blend markers. Um, it's the light and the dark Daffodil Delight. That's what's going to color our flowers. And then to put a little accent on the center of the flowers. See right there, see the inside of those flowers, there's little tiny dashes. Well, that's how it is on the um, designer paper. So I added those little dashes. I'm using a, a Pigma Micron. Um, this is number three. If you have a number two or number one, those will work as well. I wouldn't go any higher than three, though, or you'll have a hard time getting very fine little lines. And um, my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I have my U Pick tool. I have the ball stylus end in place here. And also, um, Oh, I use these stamps, too, from the Forever Lovely. Um, there's the Wishing You a Lovely Day, that one. And then I use this leaf one. Now, there is a die to cut the leaf out, but I didn't want to have that white edge all around. Like, the the dies will leave that from stamping up. So, I am going to fussy cut my leaves. So let's get started. Let me, um, I need to, I'm going to stamp my leaves and you know what? I put my, I put my ink pad away that I used for those. I used the old olive ink. Um, I don't know why I put it away. Sometimes I'm just too neat. So I'm going to pull back that that piece of my scrap whisper white here. I'm going to stamp myself some leaves on here. Let me clear a little spot so I can have my ink pad open. There's one, two, three, four. We, I used five on my original card, my, my demo card here, but I'm, I'm going to stamp a, an extra one just in case I want to use it. It's always better to have more than you need than to not have enough and then have to go back and, and stop your, stop right in the middle of your process and go back and redo it. And I cut out three sets of these little flowers. Okay, so I'm going to break here. I'm going to go, I'm going to get all my die cutting done and my fussy cutting of my leaves done. And then we can come back and we'll shape our color and shape our flowers. And then we can put the card together. So, break time. Okay, I had my nice little visit with Mr. Big Shot and have my pieces cut out. And I forgot to tell you, we're going to pop these two up on a little piece of just the very thin craft foam. If you don't have craft foam um, 
the lightweight cardboard like from cereal boxes will work just as well. And I used the um, smaller of the two circles dies to cut this out. Um, if it doesn't work in whatever die cutting machine you use, you can always just trace the trace your circle on your foam and just use that as the guide to cut it out. So first off we're going to um, we're going to get the yellow color on our flowers. So let's get all of our flowers laid out face up. And there is a right and a wrong side when you die cut things. The bottom side will have like a little ridge all around the edges. Okay, so this is this is terribly hard to do. So pay close attention. No, I'm I am joking. This is so easy. It's ridiculous. They just swipe, 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 swipe on each of your flowers. This is the the Daffodil Delight. Daffodil Delight Light color. And if you don't cover the entire petal, well that's fine too because you know what? On the um, designer paper, the flowers are not totally covered in yellow either. So it will just make them match a little more. And then we're going to get our um, Daffodil Delight Dark out next. Oh, and I am using the painter type tip on both of these. I'm just going to put some Dark Daffodil Delight in the center here. Just like that. And then I'm going to go back to my Daffodil Delight Light. I'm just going to give them each a little swipe again. That will just get our ink moving. And it may not look like it's blended out right now. But just let it sit for a little while. Because I found that found out that it will it will start to work over time. And so there's no use wasting ink and going back over and over and over it, trying to get an immediate result. Okay, so let me show you. Look here. Here's one one of the first ones. See, look at that. It's all blended out. It just went whoo and blended all by itself. I'm taking some coloring classes. Um, online classes from a woman named Amy Schulke. Schulke? I think that's how you say her name. Um, but she has some amazing ideas uh, art-wise. And one of hers is that the Blending Fairy comes. And I thought that was funny. So my Blending Fairy came and made my flowers pretty. I'm going to just let them sit just for a little while before I put this on. I don't want that to smear or anything. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to take these two pieces and um, put some of my Tombow on all the lacy parts. Just the lacy parts. And we're going to set that aside. We're going to let our Tombow dry, or at least almost dry. That will make it it will dry sticky and it will become almost like a sticker. All your lacy parts will stick down and um, and you won't have to and you don't have to worry about your ink smearing. Oh, there's one of my flowers trying to get away. It must have been stuck on my hand. But I'm just going to go very light. You see, I'm kind of dabbing it on. I'm not really putting massive amounts of of this glue on here. I'll put that one aside. Got a little ink or a little glue on my mat. I don't want to get that on the front because, like I said, it dries sticky, and it will just pick up. If it's sticky on the front of your card, you'll have everything in the world on there. 
cat hair, dog hair, dust bunnies. That's right, the dust bunnies will come running out from under your beds and stick to your card. Almost done with this. I know this is must be terribly exciting to watch. All right, so I'll put that aside. And, well, we might as well glue these pieces together, too, because I'm going to use the Tombow for that. And just center our circle on on top of um, the designer paper that we've printed out. And then I'll do, I'll put my circle here. Okay, I think we can, um, we can come back here. We'll get our flowers. You know, I might as well put them on the mat right away because I'm going to be shaping them. Oh, well, maybe yellow isn't the best color mat. You won't be able to see what I'm doing. Let's see. Oh, I have some black here. I have a black piece of foam. I'll put that down. Then you'll be able to see the flowers. Much better, huh? I'm going to put my leaves up here too. I'm not adding anything color wise to my leaves they already came out they have a nice little veining down the center already from the stamp so i don't really don't need to do anything except uh, give them a little shape maybe come on flowers there we go, and they're all nicely blended, right? And you saw, they just sat up here. I didn't do anything extra to them. Okay, and I'm just going to give them just odd little, little stripes kind of coming out from the centers, but not, not perfect. We want them kind of, I don't know, kind of odd and wonky. Because that's, that's kind of how they are on the um, designer paper. All right. Oh, I missed one. Oh, dear. There. There we go. Now I'm going to turn them all over. And you'll see that the... Um, The alcohol marker kind of bled through a little bit here. And that's good because if we should happen to see the back of them, which we shouldn't on the card, um, then it'll be colored also. So I'm just going to give each of the each of the petals on these flowers a good little poke with my with my uh, ball stylus. I believe this is the smaller side. Let me check. Yes, that's the big side. Just going to use the smaller side. And again, this is very exciting. I want to tell you something else about these digital papers. Oh, yeah, the digital papers too. If you... Um, if you have a, a color printer, that's great in your set. But you do need a either you need a, a color printer or you need someone who doesn't mind you using their printer to print your papers. But you can resize your digital papers too. I do a download and um, and I, what I will usually do is do a uh, take a screenshot of my paper and then put it into Word and then I'll make it full page sized. I'll print it, you know, I'll 
grab the little corner, you know, you click on it and it gives you the little dots in the corners on each side and the top and the bottom. But I just grab a corner and drag it out and make it a full page because I do two cards. I, I'll use it. Um, if you're only doing one card, then of course you only need to make enough to do one card. But I could I could have made these little these roses on on this part here um, I don't know if you can see that they're roses but they are they're roses and leaves I could have made them really big I could have shrunk it down made them little and uh, so you can you can play around with the digital card stocks too say so you had stripey paper you were printing out you can make your stripes as big or as small as you want it within within reason of course okay so now we've got the flowers all turned over to the front side I'm just going to give them a good solid poke down in the middle there we go look at that they're looking flower like already aren't they and there we go the flowers are all done I'm just going to turn this and we'll do the leaves next. And I got my, for this I got out my pa my bone folder. And I'm just going to put that down on my, on that center vein of the leaf and give it a good press. That's nice that that center vein is there. It gives me a little guideline. Okay, there we go. And our leaves all now have a little shape to them. And we can put our card together. I'll put these over on the side for the moment. Let me bring in this. Let's do the inside first. Let's finish up the inside so then we don't have to, to worry about that. And I'll use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And the stamp that says, uh, wishing you a lovely day. Get that inked up real good. And I'll line that up. Let's see, I hope I can get this good. Because the camera's kind of in my way. And one, two, three. There we go, that's not bad. I'll accept that and I'll use my Tombow because I want to have a little bit of time to move the paper around and Tombow will allow you to do that and just get that centered Okay, then on my front of my card, I have my designer paper, and you want to make sure, double check, and make sure you have your printing facing the right way, so you don't put it on upside down, and all your words will be upside down. Again, I'm going to use a Tombow. You get as close to the edge. I'm going to get close to the edge here as I can. Because I, I want my edge down nice and flat. But on the other hand, you don't want to get too close or get too much glue there because you don't want it oozing out. Because the Tombow is a sticky glue. Alright, and then we put that on there. And I like to just go like this, stand it up on my table, give it a couple good taps, and that helps immensely to get it lined up all right so there we go we've got that on we can put our little edge pieces here on and I don't know if I'm going to get done with this video or not I'm adding a little bit of the Tombow in just that big area there I'm going to line it up so 
So it's even top and bottom. I'm going to put my edge on the edge of the card. And then I'll just set it down like that. And I can just press it in place. I still didn't get it lined up very good. But see, with the Tombow, it, I could just move it just a little bit just to get it right to the edge. Okay, I'll do the same on this side. Get that right on the edge. Did you see how that stuck to my finger? Yep, yeah, that's what it does. It stays sticky. And then we'll put our little bird in the circle here, right in the center here. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we can put our flowers down. And for that, I'm going to use the um, Designer Dries Clear Glue. And let's see, I want to put some flowers here so that it continues on with the flowers that are right here. So let's, let's start doing that. Oh, my glue's not coming out. Here it comes. There's absolutely no reason why it shouldn't come out because I had the pin in there. So my little schnozzle shouldn't have shouldn't clog. See, I put another little one here. I think. Oops. I'm gonna put some up here where this flower is. Maybe a couple little ones. Maybe a little one and a big one. Uh, we'll see. Maybe just those two. And then I need to put some up here too. I'll put a big one up there. Maybe a couple big ones. Maybe I'll put two big ones up there. And a little one. Yeah, that just makes it look like the the flowers on the on the cardstock are coming right off the page. I think I need a couple more down the bottom here. Oh, I have one more big one. And then maybe, maybe right in here somewhere. There we go. Now we can tuck our leaves in. Where's my little ball stylus? I'll give that a good poke. Make sure that flower is stuck down well. Make sure it's good contact between the um, the two papers. Okay, and now we can stick our leaves in. I just want to put a little bit on the on the edge of the leaf that we're tucking in. And let's see, one over here maybe.
And maybe I'll give myself another one up here. And a couple up on this one. And we had that one extra leaf I may or may not use. I don't know. Maybe down here another one? What do you say? Should I put one? I think I'll put one there. So it's kind of like a group of two, little two leaves there. Okay. And you know what? Our card's finished. That went together quick, didn't it? For all the things going on on this card. So, if you liked my video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Um, I do check that. And that gives me an idea of what people like. And I might just go a little bit in that direction. If you have any questions or comments, that's down there too. If, you, if there's something you're not sure about in my video, you want to ask me about it, then, then do that. And I, I'll get back to you. Um... If there are any Stampin' Up! products that you'd like to purchase, you can do that either through my Facebook or my blog. You'd be using me as your demonstrator. But I'm sorry, everybody else, this is only for the people in the United States. I don't know why Stampin' Up! won't let me be a demonstrator to someone in another country, but they don't. Um, oh, and if you want to see more of my videos hit that subscribe button down there. And if you do that, a little bell will pop up. And if you click on that bell, YouTube will let you know when I have new videos posted. Isn't that wonderful? So that's it, I think. Oh, and all the tools and materials I use will be listed down below. So, y'all, take care. Stay safe. And happy stampin'.